Hi there. So I'm going to show you how you can use Pear Deck extension on Google Slides to create some really, really awesome and interactive SEL check-ins. So Pear Deck is an extension that you will have to add through the Chrome Web Store, where you can just Google Chrome Web Store and type in Pear Deck and add it. It will not need any administrator um, permissions. It will just allow you to add it. And it will add it right here. Um, the other place you can get access to it if it doesn't pop up right on your menu bar is by going to add-ons under Google Slides and then going to Pear Deck. So if you just click right on Pear Deck, the sidebar will appear. And Pear Deck has a ton, a ton, of templates um, way beyond what I'm going to be showing you today just for the SEL check-ins. But just know that this template library has a ton of really awesome already created beginning, during, end of lesson, all different pieces of lesson development templates that you can absolutely use. We're going to go into the template library and just go down to where it says social emotional learning. There are some really awesome pre-made templates. Anything here you can completely edit. Um, so this one right here, if you just click once on it, it will then add it as a slide. It takes a moment to process and to work here, but it adds it as a slide that can be editable. Um, so this is just something that for your in-person class or even you could have this up on the screen for a Google Meet, just encouraging that deep breathing. The other one here, and you can change any of the words, that's an editable text box. The other one here is with bucket fillers. So asking students to really identify what's filling their bucket today and what may be draining it. This is an awesome way to kind of come in and share a high and a low. You can make it optional to just share one and not require both because if they don't have anything draining it, we don't want to necessarily force that. Um, but so I'm going to add all of these different templates in here just to show you how they all work. But when you're using this, you would obviously only choose one or maybe two. I'm just going through to show you how they work. Another one, this may be my favorite one to use with fifth grade, is the stress check. And it's a very, very simple drag um, on a scale that they have to really identify and articulate where they are on this scale from I'm in a good place and I can focus to something's bother me but I can still focus or completely in the red I can't manage my emotions or behaviors right now. This is very similar to zones of regulation um, that students are identifying their feelings with a color and they will just drag a line on the scale to where they feel that they are located, which I'll show you the student end in a few. It's really cool on the student end how it works, and then even cooler how on the teacher end how you're able to see it. There are a lot of other templates here. Um, a lot of them are drag and drop, which is awesome, um, and kind of just articulating how you're feeling. The last one I'm going to show is this one where it's kind of like a chance for students to do a shout out to each other. Um, give a thank you to someone in your class. An example could be thank you to Josie for asking me how I was doing. Now for all of these, and get rid of this blank slide over here, these can be edited. So if I wanted to change the wording on something, I can go through and change that. I like how they work, so I usually leave them. But let's say we wanted to now take our slide, in this case slides, because I want to show you multiple, and see what it looks like on the teacher end and how it is for the students to interact. It's very simple. You just from here would then click Start Lesson. And it's going to give you an option of doing this live, that you're pacing it as you're going, like if you were right in front of your class or with them. I like to do the student paste because it's at the beginning and when students log on, I like them to just be able to go as they're ready and not wait for me. So let's click on the student paste and it's going to bring us to our teacher dashboard here. So the teacher dashboard is where you can see all of your students' responses to the slide 
or slides that you have assigned. So that just basically tells you right here. And now you have the option for sharing it with your students to either share a link or to share it to classroom. It's really easy to share it right to classroom for them, or you can take the link and post it wherever it is that you have students access their assignments. So I'm gonna just copy the link so you can see what it looks like on the student end. This is the teacher dash, which we'll come back to in a minute, but I'm gonna open another tab and show you the student end, what it looks like for them once they click on the link that you have shared. It asks them first how they're feeling today, which I really appreciate that it just builds that in. So I'm feeling great. Okay, now it goes into any of the slides that you would have assigned. So if you just had one, it would only be one here, but if you have more than one, they navigate just by using these arrows. So what is filling your bucket today and what is draining it? It does take a little bit of a run through with students to show them the tools that they can use, but the text box is really cool. They can just click here. And then just by clicking where they want the text box to start, it opens it. So what's filling your bucket today? They may say, my friends, right? What's draining the bucket today? Maybe they're tired, okay? Now to go to the next slide, they just go here. And like I said earlier, this one's my favorite that they just actually as students just drag this to wherever it is that they're feeling. So let's say that I know something's bothering me but I can still focus closer to the green than the red. I leave it there and I'm gonna move on to my next slide. And to give a thank you to someone in the class, thank you, Barb, for helping me out today. Okay. Now, the only thing that is a little weird about Pear Deck, and it's completely okay because you just have to let students know, is that there's not a save button, it auto saves. So once they get to the last slide, they just X out, okay? So this was all the student end. Now on the teacher end, this is what we see. So there wasn't anything they had to complete on this one. But when this one, there was, right? And this was, you can see all of your students here. This was Amy's response. And then there would be arrows that you could navigate um, and scroll through all of them. So let's say I wanted to start Amy's answer. And if I wanted to give her some kind of feedback, I could put that there for her to be able to see. My favorite one, the stress check, and the reason why it is my favorite is because if I had more than one student here, they all show up. So let me see, I don't know if it will let me do it again as another student or if it's going to say I already did it. Probably already did it, let's see. Yeah, so see, I had already gone through. But what it would have here, let's say that somebody else had theirs, their line would also be shown on here. And when you hover over it, it says their name. So as the teacher, this is a very quick way to see all of your students and how they're feeling. And all you have to do is hover over them to see the names. They don't have to ever put their name in because it just automatically connects through Google. They just sign in with their Google, um, their Gmail. And it, just by clicking it, it automatically recognizes it from their Chromebook. So the last one that asks about them giving the thank you, it would have all of them right here. So you could project this and share. Um, so all students could see the thank yous and the shout outs that are being given. Pear Deck is super simple and definitely something that I recommend people exploring for any kind of a morning meeting or any kind of a check-in, whether it's in the morning, midway through the day, or at the end of the day. They're all editable and they've got some great content already loaded there. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me.